My room is an absolute mess and it's just full of so much junk and rubbish and I really need to clear it out today. You're probably thinking, oh Mia, are you gonna go out first? No, that's actually not why I'm putting a scarf on. I'm actually putting a scarf on because the heating or something's not working in my house. I just got back from a two week holiday last night and yeah, the house is literally freezing. So I really just wanted to stay in bed all day long and I really didn't want to have to tidy my room and put down my Christmas decorations. But no, I forced myself to get up because I really need to do this because this is the sort of thing which I'm just going to keep procrastinating on. And if I don't do it today, I'm never going to end up doing it. I literally decided the day I get back from holiday, I'm going to sort out my room so I have a fresh start. Not only am I going to be clearing all of my things out, I also need to measure my room because I'm planning on doing a complete room makeover, which is why I need to take everything down today to like give myself a clean slate and I'm gonna order some furniture which I'm so excited I've literally found my dream furniture so hopefully it's not too big for my room obviously I have already started unpacking a bit last night and today but there are still loads of things all over my floor so I think we need to start with the basics like the actual mess everywhere I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek to things which I'm gonna be dealing with today and I really don't want to look at this cupboard <sighs> it's literally awful it needs sorting so badly it's it's a serious problem. It's the saddest event of the year to take down my Christmas tree. We don't really have much storage, but I'm gonna try my best. I wanna keep it all. Just took down my tree. It looks so bad, guys. But you probably have all noticed this. And it's probably been bugging you guys. Yes, I definitely need to throw these away now. They're actually pink roses, I think. Yeah, they were pink. And now they've turned purple because um they're so old and crusty. They were like in my room for two weeks before I left holiday and they like looked nice, but they were like starting to go a tiny bit bad just before I left for the holiday. So now, as you can imagine, it smells like a garden. I just got an Amazon parcel, and although I literally ordered this yesterday, I actually can't even remember what I got, so I thought you might wanna open it up with me, guys. Also, I have been really wanting to get some Sony Angels. I think they are absolutely adorable, and I keep seeing them on TikTok, but I don't really know where to buy them from. I saw you can get them off Amazon, but the shipping looked like it was like five days or something, which I can't, I want things to come the next day, which I know can't always happen, but yeah, comment down below, paste is where I can actually get them from. Like, is there a shop I can buy them from or do I have to order them online and does it have to be Amazon or can it be somewhere else? Thanks. I'm really struggling to do anything with these nails. Like they are actually too long now. Ooh, I got some eyebrow gel, color cream. I don't know if this is gonna be any good, but we'll see. And then, ooh, yes. I'm excited about this one. Deep puffing. I see me, ice roller and gua sha. Gua sha, gua sha, gua sha, gua. You know what I mean, guys. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And you can little pop that, and you, this is what you put in the freezer. It has little beads in it. And then what's in here? Is this? Does it actually come with a gua sha? What? How did I not know that? I know it said gua sha on it, but I didn't know it actually comes with one. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this feels so cold because my room is so cold. You may notice that I've completely cleared these shelves and this bedside cabinet is actually completely empty inside. I've literally just dumped everything on my bed. So I need to sort all that stuff out. But you're probably wondering why. And that is because, like I said, I'm going to be changing my furniture because this, I don't know why I decided to get a locker, guys. Like, what, what was I thinking? Like, actually, what was I thinking? And this I do really love, but I don't have enough storage space in my room. And basically, this is really annoying because I bought it for storage space but I can't properly store my things in here because it's only small and also it's open so it looks messy it has to be like perfectly decorated for it to look good if not it's just mess in my room and my room just feels so cluttered I'm gonna ask my mum actually if she wants this in another part of the house she might do for example I'm getting rid of this say hi Mia Corns to yourselves what was I thinking I did have a vision but it just didn't really pull off. It didn't work in my room. And I'm probably gonna be taking my painting off as well, which I do feel a bit sad about, but it's okay because I'm planning on doing some more paintings, which are gonna be like more cohesive with the plan which I have for my room. I do really love this painting. So I think I'm gonna keep the painting up for now. Although actually I need to measure out the furniture. I might not even be able to have the painting up anymore because of the furniture. Can we just take a moment for the tape measure? I need to actually look up the furniture and see what the percent what the percentages are as you can tell i'm a very handy i'm, I'm a actually a handy woman the first thing i'm gonna measure the bedside cabinets which i want to get are probably 
going to be fine. The bedside cabinet and the chest of drawers. I want it to be matching because I feel like that's going to help make my room so much more cohesive if there's not just like random furniture going on. Like even the fact that I have two different bedside cabinets is so random and neither of them are even proper bedside cabinets. One of them's a locker and the other one, look, it's a little table. I am going to be replacing that but I'm just going to leave that in my room for now because the thing is I'm actually going to be going away for a week. The website doesn't tell you when it's going to be getting delivered. My mum ordered from them before and she said they did take a little bit to come so I'm going to order it now because I'm hoping that it will come like by the time I'm back and then maybe a few days after I'm back like two weeks is what I'm hoping it's going to take but if it does come back a bit sooner luckily my parents and family will be here so they can collect it but I don't want to dump them with like all this stuff they have to move it so this is why I have to move this today ready for in case it comes any moment so it's going to be like oh dear this is long but that's probably all right I don't know guys, is it too wide? Look, I'll probably like put it in the middle then I guess, but I'm just a bit worried how big the bedside cabinet's gonna be. If it's this wide, I don't know how deep it's gonna be. Like how much is it gonna stick out from the wall? I really hope this fits. I want it so badly guys. I really need some sort of chest of drawers to replace this. And this is the only place I can put chest of drawers in my room. There's literally nowhere else because I've got windows. That is kind of sticking out quite a bit. It's fine. It's just like if I have the bedside cabinet there, like I'm a bit worried. How can I like, I know. I know what I can do guys. I do have a great idea, but first of all, I need to actually move this because this is getting in my way. I actually stuck this on with command tapes and it's been in here since we moved, which was like over a year. So I'm really surprised because it did say on the instructions that it has to be done with screws and I girl mapped it and did command strip and it stayed up. Let's move this. Milkons. I'm so sad. I don't feel like these dimensions are gonna work. I haven't measured out the bedside cabinet So I might be able to squeeze the bedside cabinet But I have a feeling if this is how big the chest of drawers is the matching bedside cabinet is probably gonna be pretty big too And also I'm very glad because I almost ordered this furniture while I was on holiday without measuring and I was just like oh fit I'm so glad I didn't know that because this furniture is expensive as well So I needed to measure this out properly. This is how wide and long the chest of drawers will be. I mean, I could pull it all the way up to here. I might do that. But sometimes I feel like if it's like touching wall, sometimes that can be a bit, it's gonna look, I don't want it to look cramped because that's literally the worst thing. I want my room to feel more airy and open. That's why I'm literally doing this so it doesn't look cluttered. If the furniture's too big, it's gonna do the opposite to what I want. <laughs> it's not gonna work, Beacorns. Look where the bedside cabinet's gonna come to from there. And this is gonna be the chest of drawers. That is gonna look really stupid. So I need to find a new chest of drawers and bedside cabinet that I like. I've decided to come out, make myself feel better about it all. I've been trying to like look on websites, see if there's like other furniture I can get. And I just can't find anything that I like. I loved it so much. I was literally obsessed with it. I've been looking at that furniture for weeks and like planning it and I've been so excited. So I've come up with a plan because I realized there's a problem which I didn't even know about. The bedside cabinets aren't even available for like shipping for like three months. I don't want to wait three months to redecorate my room. I want to do it in like two weeks time. I can't wait that long. I do not have patience for that. I've decided that I'm still going to get the chest of drawers. That's the main thing you're going to see like, because I'm thinking for all the backgrounds on my videos and stuff for you guys, those chest of drawers are going to look so nice. So just all the decorations and everything, it's going to be very like coquette, but like modern and like simple. That's why I really love these chest of drawers. So I'm going to get the chest of drawers still, because they're like going to come quickly. And I'm going to get some other bedside cabinets, which are like smaller. I've seen some round ones, which I really liked. I haven't actually ordered it, but I've added them all to my basket. So we'll do that later. I, I don't think I've mentioned my hairband. Yeah, it's um, it's a little embarrassing. I do really love hairbands like this, but I haven't styled it properly. I just put it on for the practicality. Darren, I definitely look like a wild Yeti woman running around. I'm actually gonna be going to Selfridges because I need to buy some minis for my trip. because so I've run out of like all of my mini toiletries. I also just need to get some clothes for this trip. It's gonna be cold where I'm going, even colder than here. I got some little minis from Selfridges and now I am in M&S because I need some thermals. I've got to try and decide, these say medium. I hope that's gonna be enough. I did get some vests from here before and they are really good. Like I'm literally wearing one of them today. So I need to get long sleeve tops and leggings and maybe some more vests. I think that should be helpful. <laughs> you think my coat should turn into a big teddy bear? Oh my gosh, oh no. I'm back home, I just had my dinner and my dad had to go pick my mum and my sister up 
So I'm watching the babies and I thought, I don't have anyone else to give a haul to. Normally I give you guys a haul or I'll give my mum a haul or Sienna a haul. I always have to give someone a haul when I buy new stuff. So I was like, come and come and do you want a haul? Look, I got this little top from Brandy Melville. Do you like that? Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't think they really care about a haul, guys. You guys want a haul? I just took my hair and it's literally the best feeling. I feel so tired, like I just wanna get snuggled up in bed and go to sleep, but no, I've still actually gotta do all the clearing out, which I said I was gonna do this morning and then didn't end up doing. Said all I've done is just made my room look like 10 times worse. This is a serious issue. It's okay, I am gonna do it tonight. Like, I have to, because it's literally all in my bed. I can't even get in bed. First of all, I'm gonna have a shower though and get myself all cozy in pajamas. Then I'm gonna feel more like doing it, cause like, I'm really excited though because it's actually getting warm in the house. It's why I'm sitting on the floor because the floor is warm. I know what you will want. You want a proper haul of what I got first though. I ended up getting a big bag from Brandy Melville because I need this for my traveling. Although I was originally like thinking this is gonna be the bag which I put under the seat, but then I'm looking at it and it's quite big. Probably a bit too big to fit under the seat. I know I can fit this bag under the seat. So this bag's not that much bigger than this bag to be honest. And I forgot to show you guys, I love the color of it. It's like cream. And also I found this little keychain in Subdued and it's literally perfect. Like it matches the vibe of the bag so well. Oh my gosh, it's actually too cute. Then I also got myself some comfy trousers from Subdued and they've got stars on them. Thanks guys for actually listening to my haul and like Koa and Karma who just ran off and did not care at all. But I mean, why would they? I really hate it when you have to wear specific underwear with clothes, but I guess it's just, like, I don't feel like I have any clothes where I could just pretty much wear what I, I, I have some clothes, like jeans, for example. You can kind of wear whatever underwear you want. But this, obviously, I have to wear light colored underwear, which sounds a bit annoying, but I was. I mean, they're, I'm going to wear them more as, like, pajamas, like, loungewear around the house. So Then, I've been trying to find the perfect baby pink knit for so long. Because I did have one, which I actually thrifted in the charity shop. It's literally my dream. And guess what? It shrunk in the washing machine. So I gave it to Sienna, and it actually fits her perfectly. So it's still loved. This could be a replacement. I don't think it's going to be a replacement because it's kind of like a wide neck. So it could kind of be nice, but I do really love the color. It's just I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to find a replacement of that sweater I got some thermal tops because I'm gonna need those I got some thermal tights because I'm gonna need those I got some normal tights just because they always get holes in I got some thermal vests because I'm gonna need those. I'm literally wearing one right now I'm gonna need some thermal turtleneck top thermal leggings because I'm gonna need that more thermal leggings because I'm definitely gonna need them. I'm not even being sarcastic. I actually am going to need them for where I'm going. I also got these little pajama shorts because I just thought they were so cute and look so comfy. This little vest, it's like waffle knit. It just looks so comfy and soft. Oh my gosh, I wanna wear it now. From Selfridges, I got loads of little minis. I used to be obsessed with setting spray and I don't know why I stopped using it. But for some reason, I stopped using it and this was a setting spray which I always used to use and I know it's the best. I got the full size and the mini this is for me to take on holidays with me because I find I always like to take minis with me on holiday and like only use them when I'm on holidays Especially because I don't think I'm going to be putting anything under the plane So that's why I need minis then I needed to get some more makeup remover pads So I just got this one just to keep myself topped up I got a little face mask for me to use on the plane I needed some new beauty blenders I got a little mini deodorant I love this so much I have this already but it got used up I got this from Kylie Skin it's a hydrating lip mask. I've never used things like this, but I see all the girls on my For You page using them, so I wanted to try it for myself. Also, like, look at the packaging of this. <gasps> it comes with a little spatula. Ooh, I forgot I got this. It's a lip shine. I really love the Kylie lipstick, so I was really excited when I saw this. It's kind of like a lipstick and a lip gloss crossed over, I think. Ooh. I can't wait to play with this tomorrow. I'm definitely wearing this tomorrow. I love these sorts of like brownie pink shades. I feel like they won't really suit me. And yeah, that's everything I bought while I was procrastinating tidying up that cupboard. I'm doing it guys. I'm actually making progress on the cupboards. I got Sienna's chair for my room. I'm starting to find some interesting things. For example, a random vegan jerky strip. Who remembers that from my video of only eating American foods? That's really disturbing that that's in my cupboard. I found this little pencil slash makeup case, which I completely forgot that I had. I have to be ruthless, okay guys? I have to get rid of 
basically everything because it's just too messy. Good morning. So basically last night my nail popped off. So then I decided that I wanted to try and remove all of my acrylic. Obviously I don't have proper acrylic dissolver. So don't really know what I was thinking by trying to do that. But I've pretty much removed them. I'm just gonna, yeah, I literally woke up and then was straight away filing at them again. And it's taking forever. So I'm giving up and I'm carrying on with clearing it out. So as you can see, I've literally completely cleared out these cupboards. Oh. What's that? Oh, I've got some teddies. Okay, I need to get those down. I've got like a massive bag here of all stuff I'm going to be giving to the charity shop. More stuff. I've got so much. And then I've got like all my things, which I actually need to sort out and find a place for. I'm going to put them back in the cupboards, but I'm going to make it way more organized. But I've got something to tell you guys. You may have noticed that I put this shelf back up. Last night I got a text and it said that I could book which day the furniture comes. So luckily it's not going to come while I'm away. So then I actually can move the furniture and then put it in rather than like having an empty room. So I know you guys all want to properly see everything that I'm getting rid of. All of this massive bag, getting rid of some of that stuff. I'm not getting rid of my hot water bottle. I could never get rid of this. This is literally my baby. I'm not getting rid of the Christmas stuff, but I need to put that away. <laughs> And I've got all of this like rubbish. It's like all paper and stuff that was like in my cupboard. Like why, why have I kept that all in my cupboard? I don't know, but now it's out of my cupboard and my cupboards feel so good and fresh and like, oh, it's amazing. And I'm so excited for the furniture to come. I literally cannot wait and to do the whole room makeover. So make sure you click subscribe so you know when that video comes out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.